Our Newfoundland, so much beauty to see and so many things to experience. Let us look now at some of its beauty and let us experience some of its splendor. Let us take a look at the giant icebergs that dot our northern coast each summer, bringing us that awe-inspiring insight into its vastness. As we adventure to observe these giants of the sea though, we must treat them with respect, for we would not wish to be in their way when they unleash the true strength of their might. For something a little more relaxing, load up the family in an open boat and head up the bay to Julie's Harbour. Upon approach you can't wait on certain hot summer days for that chance to frolic around in the cool, salty, shallow water. One time populated but now abandoned, Julie's Harbour has nothing left to show there was ever a community there except that in the backwoods of a shoreline a century old graveyard still breathes a sigh of existence of a people of long ago. Hubert Hanlon died December 5th, 1907, age 27 years. Young people, what? Remember friends, as you pass by, as you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so you will be. Remember death and pray for me. Beautiful. The names on these headstones are a testament of families who lived here long ago, most likely taken by incurable diseases and hardships of the time. But with only one exception, the Roberts family, other family names never spoken of in our fair town of Triton, but must have once been near and dear to Julie's Harbour folks, were names such as Hanlon, Donahue, Head, Levine, Way, Cook, and sadly a family called Cantwell. This is erected by William Cantwell in memory of his children, George, who died December 28, 1877, aged three years and five months. Ellen, who died September 28, 1883, aged nine years. John J., who died September 23, 1883, aged three years. And Thomas W., died August 13, 1906, aged 18 months. The hardships that the Cantwells and all other families of Julie's Harbor must have experienced were perilous compared to the existence that we all share today. With that in mind, let us not forget who we are and where we come from.